Hello, this is Tom. Thank you for visiting Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be going over how to download new firmware in the Gemini version 70 panels. So what you would have to do first is go to our website and download the latest firmware. Go to Security Professional Login. You need to have a login in order to do this. So if you don't, you need to go up to register and register for username and password. You want to go to software downloads NAPCO. And then if you look on our list, you're just going to see a list of all the different firmwares for the different products. And you want to go down and you want to find the latest firmware for the NAPCO, which is going to be right here. You look at the date, click on download. You want to go down to save as. And it's going to come up with your you want to save it so I'm just going to hit, go ahead and save it in the NAPCO security group folder I had already created a folder in there panel firmware updates and this is an older firmware And then you can close that. You can log out of the software. Okay, now we have to open up the quick loader software. And this is the account that I want to update. If I go up to my help menu, I go to about current account, it's going to give me the current firmware version that's in there. This is an older one. At this point, I want to go to tools. I want to go to firmware download. I want to go into browse. And I want to click on the newest firmware. And you can do this through the uh, radio, which is fairly quick, and LMOD, which is fairly quick, locally, which is the quickest. And you can do it through the telephone if you want, but that's going to take a bit longer. So you do a fast download. I'm using USB, and I click on download. And then you'll see the downloading blocks. So this is a fairly large file, even though I'm doing it locally, it's still going to take a couple of minutes. The reason I'm doing this for this particular account is because the client wants COs, wireless CO sensors. So since we came out with that product, it was, you know, needed to have a firmware update in order for them to work correctly. And this is for the Gemini's 32, 96, or 255s. 816, 1632, 1664 still have a chip. You can save these firmwares anywhere you like. You can save them on your desktop, you can put them on a USB. If you're doing this locally, you'll notice that the keypad is going to say add a system while you're doing this. Or your tech, if you have a tech on site and you're doing it, you will see add a system. That's normal.
you can see that even though we are doing this locally it is a fairly long download it's about a two minute download it's a little bit longer on the radios and the NL mods the telephone line is going to be a lot longer so if you have the possibility of doing it through locally the NL mods or the GSM radios that would be the way to go okay so data transfer completes successfully on the keypad side after you do that it will say please wait where it downloads the rest of the stuff into the panel and gets that all going and then you'll go back to a system ready at that point you should probably just go into your communication screen do a quick upload Okay, and then you can go up to your help window, go to about current account, and there is the newer version software. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Thanks for watching NAPCO Video Tech Tips.